So the problem of plastic pollution is that a lot of it ends up in our oceans. It's estimated between 8 and 20 million tonnes of new plastic enters our ocean each year and that joins the plastic that's already there. And that plastic is choking our marine life, quite literally. Take 3 is about making a difference on the issue of plastic pollution and particularly the plastic pollution that's ending up in our oceans. What we're charging people to do is to take three bits of plastic from the waterways, beaches, wherever you are, wherever your special spot is, and you're making a difference. Take Three also opens up a conversation on our own plastic footprint and how much plastic we're in fact consuming and ways of reducing that plastic. What we're hoping we'll get out of Project Loggerhead is to create student leaders who are aware and vocal on the issue of plastic waste and we want to see those student leaders getting out there and being impassioned and being the voice of change in their local communities and their schools. Spread the word. Yeah. There are other people. Everyone know. pick up three pieces of rubbish. Yeah. Produce what we use, I guess, every day. People don't really understand the effect that plastic has on the environment. When it ends up in the ocean, it doesn't break down, it breaks up and becomes small pieces and affects every animal in the ocean. I think it's important that people know that like it just stays, like it doesn't go anywhere. Like while you may only use it for a short period of time and then you're done with it, it can go on to affect other people and it kills animals and after killing it, it just stays there. Like the animal will fade away but like the plastic stays and goes on to do more damage. For me it's about connection um, and, and without understanding you're not going to care. What we're also doing with the students, they're learning to work together to create those key messages, communicate it and take simple actions within their school campus or community or and further afield um, to really make a difference. When you see rubbish don't leave it there, even though you didn't pick, put it there, pick it up. It's kind of opened my eyes up a bit more to the things that we're using. It's made me think maybe we should maybe not use as much plastics and use more reusable things. Schools are, have a really unique um, opportunity to communicate with a lot of people. They can provide a leadership role in their community and so we're hoping that they do some good things in their school but also take it beyond the school fence. So our school uses a lot of plastic cutlery, a lot of knives and forks and stuff and instead of using the plastic I was thinking maybe you could change it over to bamboo and wooden stuff, more biodegradable things. Our school has already done quite a few things to help with the environment but we're thinking of putting a soft plastic spin in the canteen and contacting the suppliers and trying to get them to stop using so much plastic. It's really important to get those kids on board, get their friends, get their peers, uh, get their teachers, get everyone on board because we can all do this and we can all work together. So I just think that it's important for them to be able to adopt some leadership skills from today and incorporate them into our school routine at school, so going to it, approaching the canteen, asking them to possibly think about the plastic that they use and how we can reduce that. Kids that are bringing in plastics from home, is there a way they can reduce that too? Be an example to other people, look and go, oh okay, if those kids can do it, then we can too. We have an environmental group at school and I um, uh, thought this would be a good way um, for some of our leaders to, to be involved with some of the environmental issues that we have. We need to get those students to go out there and to talk about what they've learned today, um, but also to to generate interest and, and action around it as well. So to make people not only aware of it, but also prepared to do something about it. So these are the kids that we're really trying to get engaged because it's their future that they have to make this change. I definitely recommend it because it's just, it's really good to learn about the environment and ways to help out. And yeah, it'd be good for everyone to find out about how to really help. I reckon it was actually really good, like very good learning opportunity. And like you learn a lot more information than what you would doing your own independent research. It's really important for schools and students to get involved because it's really going to take a global effort. Every single person on the planet's got to do their bit to reduce their consumption and the amount of waste that 
ends up in the environment. This is a really key time for everyone, not just the kids, but for everyone to actually get on board, make some lifestyle changes. They're not hard, but simple things like saying no to single-use plastics, um, choosing reusables, opting for things that have less packaging. The solution is to use less. What we want everyone to do is to think about their plastic use and use less. Say no, I don't need that plastic bag, I don't need that plastic straw. The opportunity is there to make a change and we are ready for it, the world's ready for it.